Alright guys, this is Jacob here with JRAP Woodworking. And as you can see here, I have a, a new rifle again. This right here, as many of you will probably know already by the title and by looking at this, this is a model 1898 Krag. And I actually can't believe I own this because this is one of those guns I just thought would never end up in uh, my possession. But it has, and it is absolutely beautiful. This, as you can see, this will focus one of these days. It's a model 1898 US Springfield Armory and eh, 2.9, 299,000 range. That's all about all you need to see about that. But anyway, this is a beautiful rifle. And what people say, smooth as a crag, 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 whatever you say it, potato, potato is true. This is actually the smoothest bolt action ever. And I can't wait to get ammo for this. I just, I, I just really can't wait. Anyway, again, this is the 1898 model Crag, made at Springfield Armory. It has uh, stock cartouches. So I'm going to have to do some more research. 1900 stock cartouche. I'm going to have to do some more research into this rifle. Uh, I have not done any research. I just took it out of the case. It is, as you can see there, there's the trap door on it. On the butt plate is in really nice condition pretty much pristine almost it has a nice brown patina on the barrel not very very light surface I mean that's pretty much what patina is but it's in perfect condition I'm not going to do anything to this rifle nothing has to be done the wood is gorgeous um, oops as you can see there the magazine the weird style crag magazines right there bolt I had so much trouble, I accidentally I took the bolt out of the rifle and I accidentally disassembled it. For the life of me, I could not figure out how to put it back together, and then I did. So I'm going to have to be making a video about how to disassemble the bolt on this rifle. Because, no offense to anyone who has videos, I they were not very good. So anyway, so I'm going to have to do that. This rifle is really nice. And again, this same, I said this with my 1917 Enfield. This has a very nice, this specific rifle has a pretty much beautiful military trigger. Just very good. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. No catches. It's just perfect. I have not taken too much of a look at the barrel yet. I'm going to pull the bolt again and then get a light down and show you guys. Okay, guys, so I don't have an actual bore, uh, bore light, so this is going to be a little... You know, you know, interesting. Let me. See. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Looks pretty good. It was uh, kind of slightly dirty. Crap! Just dropped my flashlight. It was slightly dirty, so I had to. I ran a few patches through it. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna run a pull through through it now. That's what I like to use pull throughs. I'm gonna have to get an Otis set because that's pretty much the best. And I don't have a cleaning rod long enough. And you see how. I mean, this is a three foot cleaning rod, and that's not long enough. So, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it is what it is. But again, I just rotated the stock and just took a look. Look at this beautiful tiger stripe stock. I mean, on a military rifle, this is amazing. Just perfect. It's beautiful. It has some, you know, patina spots, different things, but I, there's no real rust on it. Like here, the brown patina. That's not rust, it's just beautiful patina and no I'm not I would not be stupid enough to take a wire brush to this it's just it's beautiful more than anything just beautiful it has this is good and for uh, I'll disclose how much I paid for it I paid 700 for it an 1898 crag with a pristine barrel 700 is it's a good deal these can go this rifle I could probably go sell it at a gun show for eight nine hundred so this is a winner this is a winner Alright guys, so this is, uh, we are going to be, I'll, you will see this in other videos, I'll have to do a shooting video loading some 3040 Crag, as well as, um, uh, another, I'll do a review of this once I get it deciphered, exactly every single little piece on this. So again, I just realized I never turned off my TV when I started refilming that, so that's, I'm sorry, but you probably heard me, right? But anyway, so this is just perfect. Alright guys, so this is Jacob, J-Rap Woodworking, if you like this video, please rate, subscribe, comment. And this is Jacob, J-Rap Woodworking, out.